Oh. My. Word. Chris. Is it Chris? Hello. Hello, mate. Tim. Tim. We How spoke about this okay. headlamp. Yes. I bought you a sandwich. Right. Smell like that. That's a good I smell. I know, I know. Well, I've just had one. I've, I can't, couldn't possibly eat it at all. But I'll take that for later, if you like. Yes, yeah, Sam. Well, I'll tell you what. You've got both there. Oh. Right, now, seeing as I've just done you a massive favour, I didn't really want to put that into words, but I have. Can you help me with this light? Is that something you would know how to make? Yes. Yes, we can reverse engineer it and there's metal spin some. And can we make that today? Yeah, we can. This never happens to me. We can make that right we here, can right make now. Make that right here, right now. Brilliant. Right, where do we start? Measuring table, measure it up, we'll get it drawn up and start getting the tools on the move. Right. So this is the first part of the process then, is it? This is where we have to take it apart, look yep. at the components, measure all the components, draw it out and then we use the drawings to produce the tools. So this is an engineering table, isn't it? This is yes. a calibrated table. The surface is, is measured yep. sort of to microns all over. Absolutely right. it's, it flat. It has to be flat. It has to be a perfect datum to take all the measurements yeah. from using like, instruments like that. Yes. Do you always go for external measurements or do you ever go internal? No, Both. Can. All the measurements we can get, the more right. information, the more accurate the component will be. Yeah. How do you work out the bowl though? Because you right. can't measure that curve. All the can measurements you? Steve's taking will be fed into a CAD system, right. which will produce templates in our tool shop at the back of the factory. So what we're making here today then is a two-stage process. We're going to make the, the, the tool, the tool and then the, the and item. And then use the tool to make the part. Great. Wow. So that is it. So that that's is it. the... That's, that's ready to go onto the spinning lathe now. So that is a mould. That is what that our, is our, our dome shot. would fit. Our part is going to be spun and pinned to the outside of that. Right. And it, he's just turned that on there to exactly that form. Right. And you've just seen him polish it up and finish it off. So the, ex so the external diameters of that are the same as the internal, internal diameters, diameters yeah, of the, of of the, the actual bowl. So by the time you get a piece of metal over that and form it, it'll be exactly, exactly the same Exactly the size. same as the, the sample we looked right. at in there. So what's happening here then, Chris? This is cutting the circular blanks in preparation for the spinning lathe. That's just a flat piece of mild steel That's there. It. So how many of these circles per light? There's four with the back body. The dome. The front bezel. Yeah, bezel. A reflector inside. OK. And there's a spacer ring that holds it all together. Wow. So four blanks per light unit. Let's go and spin them. I can't believe they're going to turn into our headlamps. So this is the bit I've been waiting for. This, this is, is the spinning. spinning. I think you've got one of them. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm going to say I think you might have one of the most exciting jobs on the planet. OK. <laughs> What's your, Terry, is it? Uh, Terry. All right, mate. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 40 years. Right. So what do we do? So we have our, so we have our this blank. This is the blank. We're going to, we're going to spin the, uh, knock the sides over to give it rigidity so right. that we can form the bowl. OK. But this is something I know nothing about. Well, just imagine a pottery wheel. Just doing pottery thing. But, but with pieces of steel, yeah, that's a bizarre yeah, concept. No. So that is our tool that's specific to our headlamp, it's right? unique to your job. So now we have the tool on that we made earlier. Bit of lubricant. Yeah, so that is just a soap. The soap. Carbolic soap or... Tallow, isn't it? Tallow. Axle, tallow, that's axle it. Axle grease. Oh, yeah. Axle grease, anything. So this is the section where we're just getting it circular, right? Getting it to sit true. Yes. Right, so this is the moment I've been waiting this for. It, this is it. Right, now how much skill is it? How hard is this? Incredible. But don't tell him because he'll want more money. <laughs> they make it look ever so easy, but it really is. It's lovely it's incredible to watch, isn't it? To watch. It's almost therapeutic. Yeah, it is. Isn't this just the most lovely thing to see? What else is made like this? Just absolutely not anything cylindric, not anything round. Mind us. We're going to trim it through now, cut off the excess material. And there's your finished component. Oh no, look at this. Oh wow. Pieces of metal spun around a form. Wow. Isn't that lovely? But you know, there are so many times in my life when you actually see these lines. That's right, yeah. And I've never worked out what it was. Now you know it's a spinning. That's it, so it's metal spinning. That's the back of the lamp. Now we've got to make you, the bezel, you, right? You the set lamp. up on that machine over there. Right.
Yeah. There it is. There is the bezel. This is surreal. Can I build this, this together? Two pieces, three pieces could come, to, come together. So what is next for this thing then, Chris? Right, we're going to pol polish all the po components up, yeah. fill all the holes into it, send it out for nickel chroming, and then it'll be assembled back here with the electronic parts and the glass in the front. That there is a demonstration of the fact that us British guys and girls have still got it. Haven't we just? We have. <laughs> <laughs>